Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 9, Thoughts. This episode is called Bound in Flesh, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Evil Dead leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TVMA, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we get one of the classic, you know, which one should they, they shoot kind of things. And, yeah, among the tests is how racist Ash is. And I quite appreciate the thing about, so when Kelly was, was a kid, she broke of a stained glass window and, you know, then punched a nun. She hit first, which, yeah, that's, that's a very fun image. And, yeah, you know, they realize, oh, you know, he's the one who's going to take the easy way out, the yeah and yeah the the campers you know reach the cabin and, and yeah you know they're like I mean it's can, can we crash here this is you know which makes a lot of sense and and Ash almost completely blows it by just coming at it and say you don't want to stay in here there are a lot of dead bodies <laughs> And, and you know, uh, I think it's Pablo who, who, like, tries to save it, but animal, dead animal bodies. We're veterinarians, and we're not very good. And, and you know, yeah, and, and then, you know, oh, I mean, we're, we're experimental. We, we, you know, the chainsaw, that's that's for that. And, 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 you know, Kelly is like, or maybe we're hunters, you know, because she's like, why are you, please. Think before you speak, you two. And let's see. Yeah, I like the. So they they you know huddle up and and talk about you know what they're they're going to do and and yeah the the you know Ash has the line you know they're going to be on the night train to Philadelphia with stops in Oklahoma City and Diami. And let's see. Then we have the, um, um, right, right, yeah, I like what, yeah, so Ash is going to cut up the, the, <laughs> cutting up my clone body, maybe someday this will be weird, and the, 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 you know, just the two of us, and, yeah, he gets blood on the book, which, of course, makes it more powerful, and yeah, very cool when when he looks and Amanda is just gone. And yeah, um, Pablo and Kelly talking about how she told Heather that he has a girlfriend, and you know she's like, you know, yeah, it sounds like she's you know maybe you know somewhat has some feelings for him. But, you know, her argument that, you know, well, people don't have a long life expectancy out here, that does also make sense. And, yeah, it's it's pretty funny when they, you know, they hear a noise and they just unload. And it turns out it was just a raccoon. Um, it just uh, savory meat. And... Yeah, very, very cool when Amanda, the, the Deadite, shows up. I am really going to miss Jill Marie Jones being on this show, but I will say this was a fantastic way for her to, to go out. Just, yeah, everyone on this show does such great Deadite acting, really throughout the, the entire franchise. A solid gore in this episode as well. Ash chainsawing bodies, and later Ruby cutting up dead-eyed bodies, or, yeah, potential dead-eyed bodies, and I, I really enjoyed when, when dead-eyed Amanda, Amandeadite, makes puppets out of, I think they're called Brad and Melissa, you know, it's like, oh, I love you. <laughs> My name's Pablo. I do everything Ash says. My name's Kelly. I do everything Ash says too. Oh, I love you, Kelly. <laughs> and, 
and she completely gets under their skin. Like the you know, all she has to do is is hold in the you know. After she said that, she just holds the puppets in front of her, the meat puppets, and yeah, the both of them again just unload, even though you can't be sure that the bullet is actually go gonna go through. You know, but. Yeah, they don't. The, the Deadites are really good at getting under your skin in more ways than one. And yeah, very very cool when when Ruby, you know, makes a triumphant return. And we have some more of the the you know, sapphic love. Uh, yeah, under undertone to to some of the 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 moments that you know. I, you know, I wanted us to be together, a kind of thing. <laughs> I love that she's whistling while cutting up the bodies. Like, okay, everyone who's watched enough of Evil Dead knows this is necessary. The whistling, that might, because it's really freaking out, Heather, understandably, and it's like, you don't have to be so cheery about it. Like this is this is a necessary evil. It is not supposed to be fun. It is very disturbing that you're apparently finding this fun. Uh, quite good when when Ruby and Ash talk about how to proceed. And and yeah, you know she makes a really good point. Your plan came from a bong hit. And let's see. Yeah, and and the thing of you know. Don't, uh, I think the line is something like, Mo and Larry have gotten me very far. And yeah, of course, there's going to be a Three Stooges reference. And I like that one of the reasons, one of the ways they try to determine if Ruby is, is good is whether or not she smells, you know, Pablo's like, she smells nice, and, and Kelly's like, she doesn't smell that nice. And... I want to know Amanda's opinion. Does if if she thinks Ruby smells nice, and I, I yeah the I will say that this thing of you know removing the the face of the book before you know that yeah there is a certain there is logic in what she says, and and yeah the thing of, you know face calling it a facelift was pretty funny. Well, this is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. And let's see. Yeah, he removes the the face and then hesitates to hand over the book. And he's like, "I mean, we've been together for so long." <laughs> wow. And and the, the you know, yeah, I don't you want someone else to take that load? Come on, Ash, let her take your load. Which I'm pretty sure there there's a pretty significant chunk of people who watched Xena who definitely wanted for Bruce Campbell and Lucy Lowell is on that show to end up together. And yeah, we get more creepy chanting. And the the face of the book ends up on Pablo looking like Jim Carrey the mask before the the face turns green. Once the once the mask is just on his face, and he's like screaming and trying to claw it off. You know, very very cool. And then we have the killer ending with you know, I, you know, do you know what you're doing with that book? Of course I do. I wrote this book. Just yeah, very very cool. Love the needle drop. Hadn't heard that song before, but yeah, literally you know, I could write a book. Very nicely done. And yeah, so some IMDb trivia. Let's see. Oh, um, okay. While cutting up Evil Ash, the Necronomicon X Mortis talks to Ash for the first time. It's possible that this is a reference to the Army of Darkness comic series, where the book frequently talks to Ash. And yeah, the third time Ash's love interest has turned into a deadite and tried to kill him. Linda, Sheila, now Amanda. And yeah, the empty rocking chair, rocking by itself, running site in the franchise. And oh, phew, yeah. Um, the Necronomicon asks Ash if he thinks he will be president. In season two of Fargo, Bruce Campbell played Ronald Reagan, who was elected president. There was a comic series in 2008 titled Army of Darkness, Ash Saves Obama, where Ash encounters President Barack Obama at a Comic Con. And let's see. Oh yeah, huh? 
When Dead-Eyed Amanda is strangling Pablo in the woods, Lucy Lawless's Ruby does the signature Xena whistle from the trees to get Amanda's attention, just as she did in Xena the Warrior Prince. Wow, it's been too long since I watched Xena. I completely forgot that element of it. Yeah. If she had, like, done the, the touch that, that cuts off circulation or the ululation or throne of a, you know, circular thing, that I would have like, okay, that's Xena. But I completely forgot about the whistle. During the audio commentary for this episode, Lucy Lola speaks with her natural, I think it is just pronounced Kiwi accent. I will be, I, I uh, checked online, apparently the, once you've watched an entire season of the show, it is safe to watch the, the commentary tracks. So I will be doing that as soon as I've, let's see, I think, how many is, I, th I feel like the next episode is the last, yes. The very next episode is the last one, so after that I'll watch the, the commentary tracks and I might, you know, if there's something interesting that fits, you know, I'll, I'll maybe talk about that in upcoming episode videos talking about the show. And let's see. Yeah, um, so the next episode I will cover in eight days and yeah um, really really looking forward to yeah it's it's yeah I, I I'm stoked to see the season finale because I honestly am not 100% sure where it's going to go from the yeah let's see and right i like the the, the yeah after after they shoot the the evil ash you know pablo is like yeah we definitely shot the right one and kelly's like i'm reconsidering and let's yeah, so until next time, number one, it's my book, has been for 30 years. Number two, I'm on your damn property because I'm here to save a little something I call Earth. You know what I've been doing these past 30 years? Cleaning up your messes so they don't destroy a giant thing that everyone calls the Earth. <laughs>